I went to meet Johnny Depp in um, 03, I think, or maybe even 02. And we began to talk about his costume for Jack Sparrow. And I asked him what kind of pirate he wanted to be. And he said, I want to be a rock and roll pirate. And I said, OK, have you got anybody in mind? And he just said, this is between you and me, but I want to be Keith Richards. Keith Richards' character is the keeper of the pirate book. I call on Captain Teague, keeper of the code. Code is the law. We sort of decided that he didn't go out on the open seas plundering. He was more of a stay at home in the castle kind of pirate. We wanted to make him more elaborate. You know, it is Keith Richards after all. So Johnny's costume is, is much more of a working guy pirate. And this is a bit of an aristocratic pirate. A year ago, Celeste and I went to meet him to measure him. But just because we knew he was going on tour and to save time, we took six silk pre-made garments with us to see which shapes work best, which colors work best, what he liked. And he actually chose a navy blue silk damask coat. And it had this embroidery, which had been an old altar cloth that we'd cut round and laid on. But unfortunately, when we showed the director, he didn't like the color. So I called someone I knew at the flea market in Paris, and she sent us a box of old silk damask curtains. And I think at this point, Celeste was, you know, ready with the knife on the wrist <laughs> because we needed a photo double and possibly a stunt man. So we had to make three identical costumes from scratch. And there's never enough materials. And this is almost a patchwork coat from three sets of curtains so that she could make three identical ones. And the fabric had to be dyed. It had to be dyed because it was yeah, too it red. It, yeah. it, on camera, it would have been orangey red, and we wanted a, a bluer red. I had to cut the fronts and then mark all the fronts and everything that has to be marked out and then sent to the embroiderer with the sample so that he can then embroider it all on the fabric. Then and it, he embroiders it with a computerized machine. He scans the pattern, and then he digitally applies the embroidery. The lace was, was an antique piece, and that is one of the things that we weren't able to, to um, multiply, so we did have to make it so we could exchange it between his, his shirts. I think this was a stray piece of velvet. It's actually painted velvet. It's not embossed as it looks. We didn't see Mr. Richards again until um, the week before he shot. So then we showed up again with actually a completely different costume. But he remembered the embroidery. He was really delighted we kept that as part of the costume. And um, I think he was a very, very happy boy. He loved being dressed up. He felt like a real pirate. And I think he wore it rather well.